And welcome back guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy 15. If I say Final Fantasy 10, I'm not surprised after how much Final Fantasy 10 I've been recording lately. Nice, got some nice ice and there's some fire just over here. And then I shall head back to the garage, I think. In fact, what I think I will do is head to another elementary point, or haven shall I call it. Let's have a look here, where are you? map. Yeah, there's one just here. Uh, is there a treasure nearby? Mm, there's one over There's one over here, but it's a, quite a trek away. But there is one over here as well. I think, if I remember, if I recall correctly, I swear that is a Mega Phoenix. So, while I go here, I might go and get this Mega Phoenix. Now, there's a reason why I'm doing all of this now, is I'm preparing myself now and getting what I can, sort of, early on. I'm not going to spend too long going around getting items, I want to progress the story. Sleepy. It is about that time. But the game does want you to, the, the game does want you to actually go around and explore a little bit. So we kind of do what, we're going to kind of do what the game wants us to do anyway. Uh, am I going right way? I'm going right way, I think. And the good news is, it won't be long until it's actually daytime, as I think it's almost 1am at night now. Just remember to stay away from the roads, because that's usually where, in fact you're going to hear it probably now, it's usually where iron giants pop up. Yeah, nothing popped up then, that's good. Not far away to where we want to be. Just over this mountain here. I think we can climb it. Remember, I want to run as much as I can anyway, because you can pick up some cool stuff. Oh, there's an iron giant spawning. There it is. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Look at that level 30 look. No chance of my fighting that now. And that is why I'm staying away. At level 30? No. No, 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 no. We're not going to do that. And because Prompto is actually, sorry, Ignis is actually ahead on the EXP than the rest of our other characters, when we do finally rest at a haven or, well in fact, that's another thing you want to know is that you don't get that bonus EXP for resting at a haven, you only get that bonus EXP if you rest at a caravan or in a proper inn or something. So it's worth it. resting there if you are going to rest. Normally, in my all my other playthroughs, I have always rested when, they, when Ignis has prompted to say, shall we rest for a bit before the formidable foe? But this time around, I'm thinking, let's not do it. I'm saying, more EXP if anything. And then... I'm, I'm, near that, I'm near that thing, aren't I? Yeah. And then uh, tally up our EXP and hopefully get a lot more. This way we're going to be going now. We have to report back to the tipster. A couple more things I want to do, and then we're going to progress with some more of the story. But the story is quite slow at the beginning, anyway. But as I said, the game wants us to do this. It just should be just around the corner from where we are right now. <sighs> you okay? Want to take a break? I'm fine. Come on, break time! Break time! <laughs> I love Prompto, he's so funny. Say your prayers. Nope, we're just gonna keep running. And I think we are around the corner from where we wanna be. I'm pretty sure this is a Mega Phoenix going off the top of my head. To right. My memory serves right. Yeah, nice. How many times? Enough there talk. We go. Time now that that's back. done. I want to head to the tipster again, which is heading back anyway. And also, I think if you hug the right wall across here, sometimes you can find some equipment and accessories and, and potions and whatnot. So it's worth just uh, sticking nearby. Ah, oh, that's alright. Enemies... I ran away from the enemies, that's good. Another haven. 
Is this the heaven I went to earlier? Oh no, it's a different heaven, that's fine. So, stock up on magic by all means. Do, do. Am I going the right way here? I think I might be. I might be going... Is it dangerous this way? Oh, they can kill these. Oh, nice. Blindside boosts the EXP, if I remember rightly. On chain 15 of hits. Wow. This uh, gear bulge really is helping us out. Oh, I'm getting attacked. Need to get to a, a warp point. There we go. Now. He does, I think he does a sort of area of effect. Oh, nice. What did you expect? Uh, can't keep the runs in my sights. Pronto, stop bitching, start killing. Where is the enemy? I think I'm running around in circles here. Oh, there it is. Set the tusk. Come on, Gladiolus. Like to wrap that up more quickly. Oh well, boost up our EXP. Look at Ignis with a nice 1,000 already, and I haven't even <laughs> used a Xperi cast yet. No, I think I've just gone around in circles a bit there, so that's actually my bad. Where right a dead end? I had to follow my way around at night time. Although it's probably coming up to four o'clock in the morning now, game time, so it's going to be coming daylight now. Which will make things a bit easier for, uh, for us to make our way around. <clears throat> now, if you remember back when we were checking out the tips there and when we went to the shop and stuff like that, I'm bringing you back to this memory because in where the tipster is, there was a sign on the wall saying something about a bounty. Now, I have a never done it before, but in my little playthrough, my little two-hour footage, I I triggered an event that I've never seen before, so I'd like to actually get on with that. So, we shall do that. Now, if we're finally on the right wave, wavelength now. Ooh, look at some items here. Laden potato. I think they can be used in our element C, so that's good. I'm going all out. Oh, okay then. Let's be done with this riffraff. Uh, is there a warp point around? There, warp point. Keep up my MP. Hey, big guy! I'm on it. Nice work, Gladio. Yep. Nice. Warp strike. Oh, we've got oh, one AP yeah. for that. My pleasure. Nice. Take him down quick and easy. Sabertus claws. Nice, nice, because we'll use them for we'll use them for crafting later. Oh, I think if you don't craft them, you can sell them. I, I want to say they sell for 90 gil each. Which is not bad at all, really. A lot of the Final Fantasy tracks are, I think, 100 gil each, so... You know, for one Sabertus Claw, you're basically getting a soundtrack. And you can play these soundtracks in your car, which is also another really cool thing I love about this game. I feel like I'm not making any progress towards this... Oh, no, we are. 0.20 now. 
Uh, I feel like I was fighting here earlier. Oh my god, Let's oh that is... Right. Oh, I was about to say that's an Iron Giant, but it's not. This one's just for you. Well, these are going to be easy to take down. I'm going to take these down and it's going to tally up our EXP. Or help boost our EXP anyway. Boom. And is that it? Fight done? Yep. Sometimes. Oh. This sounds like you're having fun. Now that is one of my favorite lines in the game. It's just it took me by surprise. And when I first heard it, I was like, wow, that is awesome. <laughs> I just love it. Uh. I think we're, yeah, we're just around the corner now. So first, let's head back to the tipster. Now, by doing these hunts, we can get some good EXP and some fairly decent gill, which I think gill, EXP, and AP are actually quite hard to come across, so in my opinion, it's well worth doing. Here we go. We're going to see what the, the tipster's got for us. Um, thank you. So how's it going, boys? Morgan from The Walking Dead. No surprises. So on the right hand side you can see our rank. We're still an apprentice, one out of one out of five, and it says one star. So we've got 740 gil, which is really good. A high elixir. What can I do you for? Uh, let's go to hunt. Wanna help out with some varmints? Mesmineers, Flexi Tusks. We're going to take the level 7 Flexi Tusks, I think. I know they're uh, level 7, but we shall do it. No, I've actually attempted to use the Experi Cast here to show you guys what it's like for EXP. Um, let's get a meal as but well while we're here. Uh, accelerates HP recovery rate by 25%, increases maximum HP by 200, increases attack by 150. 700 gil to to buy. I don't Make think sure I'm going to do that. Prepared. Is our food still on? Yeah, our mm. food's still on, so I'm actually alright for now. Now, if you want a bit of quick, easy, early EXP, go in there, and I think you can get a 0.2% bonus, which is not a lot. I'm going to save it for as long as I can to a bit in the game where you are forced to rest, and you are forced to rest at the one of the best inns in the game and that give, gets you a ton of EXP like a ton you are gonna see us level very very quickly in fact let's get a car pretty sure we can take the car here now to where I want to be going and if you talk to Cindy as well you can actually do up this car by choosing different stickers and paint jobs and stuff let's go Manual for now? Manual for now. Ready for more? You bet. Let's hit it. Yeah, here we go. So, the manual driving on this game, in my opinion, is not that good. Or whether it gets better later on in the game, I'm not sure. But I want to be going down here, look. Just going to check there's not a... No, there's not a haven nearby, because uh, what I want is now is I'm going to make some of this magic I was telling you guys about. But first, we'll do it when we get there, so... Play radio! Final Fantasy XV soundtrack from Brotherhood. Everybody out! Hmm. It should be a nice change of pace. And if we also have the Final Fantasy 13 soundtrack, the Final Fantasy 7 soundtrack, you can get the Final Fantasy 8 soundtrack, and you can get pretty much all of them, as far as I'm aware. Right, so this yellow sort of circular area on the radar here is where our hunt is. But as I said, I'm going to be making some of this elementy magic. Now, to give you a good idea of how strong we can make it, this is what we're going to do. 
So I remember I was showing you that potency before. We're going to get it to like 78 or something. So already we're on 146. Plus we're going to use the, the base coin, which will enhance it a tiny bit. Uh, like so. Yes. And this gives us Xperia cast times 3, 150 potency, EXP bonus level 4. Now, if my the, the magic would be stronger if I had 99 of each, but I don't have that yet. So, and I think the more you use it, the more it boosts it up. So, these are level 7, I think. or Well, the, the hunt's level 7. I think these might be level 5. So they're not going to be that easy, but I will use this EXP magic all three times if I can to get as much EXP out of it as I can. And this, you will see, will give us a ridiculous amount of EXP. Heads up! And boom! There's one. Do, 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 do. Yeah. This can be a tough fight. There it is, all of the warp point. Waiting for the magic to be up, which it's going to be up in just a second. Biggie, go for Let's it. get them together. I can't keep the runs in my sights. Boom! I know this hurts everyone else, but it's worth it for the EXP. Gladio! One Gladiolus, Tempest. Try this. Oh, okay. Magic time almost again. Oh, might she pass out here? Yeah, I'm just gonna heal myself real quick. What? Apologies. <laughs> Wouldn't expect any less from you. Good. There we go. Pop to do your thing. Gladio, do it. Gladiolus, your turn. Ooh, come on guys. I heal myself again, potion. <laughs> Ignis, do your thing. You got it. I'm on the ropes now. Gladio. Gladio. Nice work, Gladio. Can I take him down now? What's the idea? Apologies. Blind side? Oh, awesome. Look at the EXP. Was that perfect or what? And that was because I used Expericast three times. Now remember, when I go and get the percentage next. That is going to be the uh, <laughs> the moment of truth, shall we say. So a bit of a tough fight, that one. So I took down a hunter that I... I shouldn't have really took down that hunt just yet, but the Xperia cast really helped us out. If I had 99 potency of each element, then that would have been a lot easier for us, but never mind. We did it on 60, 70 something. It'd be interesting to see what level we get to. So, And for doing the main story, you also get... Um, XP as well, so uh, we're gonna head back to the 
to the tipster. Time to go. Which I need to do a U-turn first. But, just one second. Let's just see if something pops up that I think it will. It's not popping up, is it? Hmm. How far we can travel here? Yeah, oh, interesting. Crown City checkpoint. Um, have I just cracked my car? Yes, I have. Well, we need to head back and repair that now. Anyway, God damn it, knocked this. <laughs> okay, we're going to turn the music over. Justice Monsters, Final Fantasy 1, Final Fantasy 7, which we have the bombing mission, battle music from Final Fantasy 7. Somehow, all the music goes with this game, though. Pop back to the tipster and get our. I think we get Gil as well. Which seems like quite a trek away, but it's not really. And remember, I haven't used AP, I don't think, just yet. It's going to be on our right in a second, so we need to turn right in a minute. So it's actually automatically driving for me. All I'm doing is accelerating here. Oh, now that's annoying. I think I have to press pack to stop us. So let's... Yeah, I have to press X. Should really service the car now as well, which is annoying. Up on potions and stuff. Nice. Well, we'll do that. You're being helpful for a change. What do you mean for a change? Let's pop in here a minute. Good to see you again. Shall we shop a bit? Now it works it's for me. Always worth carrying a repair kit on you. Much That's one thing that we're going to be picking up and making sure we've got one on us for. Uh, Final Fantasy VIII soundtrack. I will. Final Fantasy IV soundtrack. Uh, and I'm not going to go mad on the stickers and stuff, so not something I'm going to be going into just yet. I'll pick up a load of potions though. And a few antidotes. Uh, we'll go with just eight. Oh, make it a right nice round nine to spend 90 gil. That leaves us with bang on 500 gil. Uh, I think we're good. Please yeah. come again. Move out my way. I'm what about it? And we're gonna go talk to the tipster to hand in. Hand in our hunt. Oh, uh, uh, Sid's friends, was it? Hunt did complete. Good. Iron Bangle, that's going to give us some better better stats. Got some better gill for it as well. Or more gill from it. That was about a bite to eat. I'm tempted to... Take your pick. ...to do the level 5 one now, which is Mesmineers, but I think I'm just going to pass on that one for now. We can't take this one until we have... Yeah, we can't do this until we have two stars. As it says on the bottom right side, where it says bounty, reward, and stars times two. So we can't do that one just yet. Uh, can I talk? Can tell you. Uh, procurement points are there. Nothing else. If you're I'm not going like to eat just yet. Come on back. Okay, I think we're done for now. We're going to drive to the rest area now. I think I'll just quickly see how much it is to repair the regalia. Thanks to, uh, oh my god, look at that. Uh, thanks to thanks to Noctis's dangerous driving. Oh, while I got gotcha. you. Oh, okay then. If y'all want to fix her up before you roll out, let me know. 
Oh, we do need that. She's a right mess. Well, just leave her to me. 500 gil? You know what? Be Screw seeing it. Ya. I'm not paying that just yet. Okay, I will go manual. Time to go. All right. We're going to make our way right now. Right here. Yeah. Oh, watch out for the car. Okay, so finally heading towards our destination. Whew, we took care of quite a lot of things there, though. And the EXP, I'm really excited to see how many levels we get in the end. Once we reach our... Not final destination, but once we reach our next destination after this. Which will probably, probably be in the next video. But we've got a few things that we should take care of first beforehand, so... And this will all help with Gil, EXP, and items. And of course, it's a bit of the main storyline anyway. Gorgeous music. Final Fantasy VII music, main theme with driving is the most ideal music, I think. I think it's a nice little touch that they've done there to add stuff like that. You can turn left up there and you'll head near another haven but we're just going to keep going on and we should be taking a left turn in and parking here in just a second yep there we go well I'd say that's far enough for today might be Speak wise to, to the most our manager me until we found our bearings out here Select the destination from the list of locations and Ignis will drive there using the shortest route. However, Ignis will not drive while demons are out. At night, Noctis takes a wheel. I'm just going to have a quick little run around to pick up some items. Another one just here. Bluestone Shard. I'm just going to see what there is to pick up around because any cities, villages and stuff like that, there's always quite a lot to pick up. A rusted bit. I forget what a rusted bit does. Um, so nothing else here to pick up? No. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Something here though. Metal scrap. Again, used in Element C, I believe. And we have something here. A high elixir, that's a good find. That's definitely worth picking up. And there is a couple of things over here. This is all of memory and my little playthrough I did, my little two hour of footage oh, recording, so that's why I know where no. most of these are. Cool with camping. I didn't know about this one though. An antidote, nice. Just bought a ton of them anyway, but I bought a ton of antidotes by the way because they were super cheap, so I figured why not. And I don't think there's much else to pick up. This looks like an ideal place though. Nothing to pick up, really? Ah, that's what can I say? Oh, another the base coin. Nice, we can use that for EXP. Okay, not much here, so we'll just continue on. Let's pick up this item over here first, which I actually missed on my first ever playthrough. Or almost missed, shall I say. Side quests are separate adventures that do not progress the story. Check side quest destinations and objectives from the quest menu. Some quest destinations are unclear. Explore the area shown on the mini map to locate that the treasure target. Treasure map, you reckon? Treasure map. Oh, wouldn't that be sweet? Are we searching for it? It's a hidden treasure map. So yes. 
Of course we are. But I'm going to end the video there. As always, it's that time again. So join us in the next video for some more Final Fantasy 15. I'm Neon Genesis. See you then.